hey guys so today's video is actually uh, an informational one unfortunately i was not able to make videos for the last couple of days the main reason is there is too much of work in office and by the time i finish my work it's almost like 9 10 o'clock in the day so unfortunately i don't get time to work on it so that's the reason why i was not able to make a lot of videos but going forward uh, i'll hope that you know i'm able to manage time to an extent and then make videos so there is nothing major that has happened over the last couple of days so because of that uh, there is no major updates on things but going forward uh, there will be like anyways we are approaching a weekend so there will be time so i'm hoping to kill some tasks tomorrow um, so we'll we'll do some videos tomorrow okay so today's video is a uh, little bit informational like i said earlier so there is this question that comes to a lot of people's mind that uh, you know how much should a engine rebuild cost so engine rebuild doesn't mean that you're removing everything and doing a complete rebuild so i'm i'm talking about uh, a basic rebuild first so let's say there is uh, you know oil leak and by oil leak i don't mean black color oil coming from the silencer i mean proper gearbox oil leak and let's say your plugs are shorting even though you're putting the right amount of uh, 2t and then there is a lot of smoke and the smell on the smoke is very different from uh, what you usually see basically engine oil or gear oil actually burns with a different smell than 2t so if you notice that kind of a smell coming that would clearly mean that um, your oil seals are short so other than the oil seal which is on the uh, magnet side in the crank uh, everything else can be replaced without splitting the crank okay so i have done a video on how i replace that in my tiger so it's pretty simple and straightforward you can just try it using a screwdriver and then you know install new oil seals so uh, an entire oil seal kit for an rx uh, series bike is around 250 and uh, for a shogun shaolin also it is around the same cost so that's how much you can expect to spend for oil seals when you are actually removing the magnet side and the clutch side you will have to buy a new clutch packing so the clutch packing uh, is for rx it's almost like 150 for uh, shogun shaolin i think uh, for 200 rupees you get the entire uh, kit um, so that is another thing then the next thing uh, that we would classify so this is basically the first classification which is because you have a small oil leak and there is uh, some bit of issues happening because of that like you know your plugs are getting shot randomly so in such a scenario what you will do is you will replace the oil seals and that would be around a 30 minutes job so 30 minutes job would mean that you can spend anywhere between 500 to 700 rupees so understand you know what is the kind of job which is there and if the mechanic is saying that i'll do it and you come back then also you talk about the price in advance and then okay so if you have roughly around thousand bucks you can uh, replace the oil seals okay so but in case let's say if you also are changing the oil uh, the gear oil that you would need in a uh, rx bike is roughly around uh, 650 ml and for a shogun it is around 900 ml so that oil should cost you anywhere between 300 to let's say uh, 500 bucks and if you want to buy something good then buy but don't put synthetic oil because that is going to be an overkill for a rx or a shogun bike so that is that so roughly around that is the price now the next thing is let's say you have oil leak and you have bearing noise so you will have to replace both even if you have a bearing noise then also you will have to um, replace the oil seals so the entire bearing kit for an rx is roughly around 2500 rupees um, 
so if you replace all of them and the oil seals uh, you'll have to split the crank so you will also have to get a decarbonization kit and the decarbonization kit itself is roughly around uh, I think around 300-400 bucks uh, so this guy is not letting me to shoot this video he also wants to be in this video so uh, basically 200-300 uh, bucks is what the decarbonization kit costs so that has a um, head gasket that has the gasket for the cylinder it has the gasket for the silencer and it also has the um, you will have to get the clutch cover separately so that's how it is um, and so that is the second type of engine rebuild so for that you will have to split the crank and everything so that is around two and a half three hours job so depending on how much the mechanic will charge you is around roughly around 2000 rupees is what he, he should be charging you okay and for uh, let's say the third type which is the most involved one wherein you will have to rebore the cylinder and if i let him lick my face then i have to go and wash it now <laughs> because he doesn't brush his teeth much but anyways let's say if you are doing a full engine rebuild which um, actually needs a uh, complete rebore, a crank build, and also the a new piston. Then the rates would somewhere be around. Let's say a crank rebuild is around 700, 800, and like I said, the pistons would cost around 2,500. So I mean the <laughs> bearings, not the pistons. The bearings will cost around 2,500. So overall charge. Uh, for the parts uh, itself would be somewhere around 7000 rupees roughly uh, a new piston will be like 800 to 1000 rupees i'm not talking about those art pistons i'm talking about the male piston and other brand which are available in the market okay so uh, if you do that then you can easily uh, i think maximum pay around 2500 rupees for the entire rebuild not more than that so that's pretty much how you will do a rebuild uh, if you you know if your mechanic is asking you much more than that then you have to understand that he is overcharging you because this would require roughly around four to five hours of labor when everything you know is supposed to be done so keeping that in mind i hope uh, there was enough information for you to take a uh, you know proper decision on whether you are getting cheated or not so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like share and subscribe and i'm really sorry about this guy he see like i said you know whenever i'm shooting videos he would like to come and lick me so if there is a lot of disturbance because of us the noise that he is making then you know I'm sorry but otherwise he's a very lovely guy and because of that you know I enjoy coming and petting him and that is the best fun that I have in the garage so you know if you have a pet you will understand that so we'll meet you guys in the next video and I hope there was information in this video which might help you while you're taking a decision bye bye